Hello everyone. Uh, today, uh, Blizzard has just come out with some very breaking and important and breaking important and important breaking news about Walls of Draenor, and that's the patch notes for friggin' uh, for, for, for friggin' uh, 6.0 for patch 6.0 when uh, Walls of Draenor comes out. This is all very very uh confusing. This is all very real, and this is all very excited. I am very excited for all of these, so uh, let's um, let's read a few from the general, maybe from a couple of classes. So, as a part of our efforts to present players with smaller and more easily dis digestible numbers, that so-called stat squish, World of Warcraft has been converted to use a base 20 <coughs> vegismal number system. As a result, all stats have been decreased by 2BAOE percent. As as you do. As you do. Of, of course. To ensure the game can maintain its current age group ratings, <laughs> Garrosh Hellscream is now Garrosh Hexcream, and the Cult of the Damned has been renamed the Cult of the Danged. I like it. To prevent confusion over whether you're playing a card game or returning to town, the Hearthstone will be called the Home Rock. The hell? I'm trying to read patch notes here, you douchebag. Let me. To encourage exploration of the world, all flight masters are now walk masters. Walk masters provide you a guide to tour of the world, giving out small bits of trivia for the area you're in as they walk alongside you to your destination. If they walk slower than you'd like, just use the home rock, your home rock. Daytime and what? The daytime in the world of Azeroth is now 50% brighter, and comparatively, nighttime will now appear darker. Dog coin is now accepted as a form of payment, but no one really knows how, to, how it works. Due to ongoing legal disputes with the Stonemason Skill, repairs on Stolen Park continue to be bogged down in political turmoil. New paid service, character bust. Pay to de-level any character back to one, removing all items, mounts, and gold, so you can relive the good old days. Um, I'm actually rather disappointed in this. I thought character bust was something completely different. I thought you could... Um, how about you piss off? Um, I thought it was something you could, uh... You know, change your character's bust, but whatever. I don't care, I don't care. Um... Line... Yeah. Dance studio has been removed due to lack of use. Of course, of course. I, I know how they feel. The Lion's Pride Inn in Goldra has been renamed to Peppermint Cleft Hoof. So, uh, oh, um, the kazoo music heard in Pandaren Inns now have a chance to play instead of any other music anywhere in the game. I personally, that's personally my favourite. In addition to a proven grand medal of silver or better, being required to queue for wards, a drain or heroic dungeon, a, a medal of gold or better is now required to post in the forums. Fair enough. So, um... Let's have a look at some of the classes and some other things. Um, okay, chatting well in cat form will now. Okay, whatever. How about how about I just how about I just do this, computer? If you're really having that much trouble, how about I go into my desk, and I put in my charger, and you just stop having a way. All right, how does that feel? How does it make you feel? Chatting while in cat form will now be pre presented with poor spelling in all caps using the impact font. The druids in Bear will now receive a bonus to fishing. Druids in Mooncom are now 50% more delicious. As always, we recommend free range Moonkin whenever available. Okay, okay, okay. Um, have obedience. You have to train your pet over the course of several weeks. Because that's just, that's just it's make it more realistic. And you can type slash squirrel will reduce all nearby pets' obedience level. Um, aspect of the pack has now been renamed to Aspect of the Dog. Many days, much anger, so mystery. Wow. Um, okay. To make playing a mage more enjoyable, players who use the words tray, food, drink, table, snack, mage, or plus in raid, party, battleground, say, yell, general, or trade channels within a mage hearing are killed instantly. All existing portals have spells have been removed. New ability portal 
Walkmaster summons your own personal Walkmaster to lead you to your destiny. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, the amount healed by Healing Sphere has been increased by a thousand percent because run over the Healing Spheres. Of course, of course. Turn Evil can now be cast on players and NPCs. When used, it applies a small dark OT and causes them to constantly explain their diabolical plans while stippling their, stippling their fingers. If Diablo 3 Reaper Souls is installed, Paladin characters will stare longingly over a fence at the Crusader and then look away and pretend to be picking their nails as if the, cru if the Crusader notices. Great, great. Um, Mind Seer plays tricks on you. You play tricks back. It, it's it's like you're un uh, it's like you're unra unraveling a big cable knit sweater that someone keeps knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. Great, great, cool, cool. Okay, rogue specializations have been renamed to better encapsulate the skills and gameplay they represent. Assassination is now known as Stabby, Combat is now known as Pokey, and su Subtlety is now known as Shanky. To help resolve spelling issues once and for all, <laughs> rogues have been renamed to Blush. Blush can be once, once again used Bucklers. Blush can no longer have access to the ability Swash, but at least they can still buckle. Fan of Knives also now also makes your family kind of worried about you. I didn't need Fan of Knives for that. Um, Rolling Thunder now causes lightning to strike. Okay. We give up. Shaman is... Ugh. Sh we give up. Shaman is now called Shawman. Ah, I see what you did there. Warlock. All spells and abilities have been significantly revamped. Again, you'll figure it out. Warlocks are now overpowered. This will be addressed in a further expan future expansion. Riding Felsteed's single file into battle will no longer hide Warlock numbers. Uh, Warriors have been nerfed because reasons. Really, that's okay. Shockwave is now a glyph of rude interruption is here too. How's it going? Just want to say hey. The sun now correctly removes the target's arms, as it should. It should. This is this has been a problem for a long time. New build, ability, heroic sit. All that mobility makes warriors tired. Using charge more than once in a ten-minute period now applies the I'm tired debuff, which can be removed by enjoying her employing heroic sit. Heroic sit roots the warrior in place, puts on the ball game, and gives the warrior. An ice cold giggle juice. Good, good. Charge no longer roots or stuns a target, instead, polymorphs them for 1.5 seconds. Uh, okay, quests. To address player sentiment issues, the daily quest blue colored exclamation points have been changed to look like the more positively perceived orange colored. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to love. Love was in the air quest, Crushing the Crown has been named to Crushing the Candy, bring it. I don't get it. I mean, of course. Yes. Creatures. All ducks can now drop items. Crabs have been removed from the game, because I see another one, and I'm just like, uh, going to totally lose it, sobbing. I'm sorry, I just can't right now. I'm just, okay, just give me a minute, I'll be okay. Freaking gross crawler, man. Um, uh, flying mounts can now be used in all pain and rage. As a added convenience, we're removing annoying obstacles like walls, ceilings, and anything else resembling an environment. Trash packs now appear more festive and will break into choreographed dance routines when players fly over them. This tech was salvaged from the remnants of the dance studio. May it rest in peace, in peace again. Pet battles, pet garrisons. Why would you get to have all the fun? Introducing the pet garrison, a miniature version of your garrison within your garrison run by your pet battle pets. Pet pet garrison. Why would your pet get to have all the fun? Introducing the pet pet garrison, a mini version of your pet's garrison within your pet pet garrison run by your battle pets battle pets.
How did I say that? I know not. Um, we've rever uh, we reverted recent changes in Alterac Valley as we've discovered the Horde were sometimes able to win. Mm, mm. The Black Market Auction House has been removed to the floor of the Guribashi Arena. Increased the number of Battleground maps able to be downvoted to 14 up from 2. Trial of... <laughs> Trial of the Gladiators is being reworked and will instead offer players the chance to judge last season's Gladiators for their crimes against humanity. Of course. Professionals, due to new alliance and horde policies, bandages can only be used on players who spend at least 38 hours per week completing quests. Herbalism is now illegal in Kaldara. <laughs> Um, UI. Upon beating World of Warcraft, a new Game Plus option will appear on the main menu, which will allow players to replay the game at a more challenging di difficulty level. A new option, Twitch to Move, ill. Twitch to Move has been added, allowing movements and action to be controlled by people watching you on Twitch.tv. Great. Transmogrification rules are being relaxed. You can now... Transmog trinkets, rings, and neck items. I've been waiting for this for so long. Rocket launchers have been added. Sweet, sweet rocket launchers. <clears throat> Someone said Thunder Fury, Thunder Fury, yeah, Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. Wow, this is really big. And finally, the last bit I will read. Raytheon will once again ask the heroes of Azeroth to embark on an expansion long quest, culminating in the reward of a legendary item. First players must reach around and help the guide and Help to guide Enwin through his formative years, teaching him how to talk to girls, how to tie a tie, etc. This process takes approximately four to five years, but could extend well into his twenties, depending on how much he resents you. You'll then graciously enter the arenas and attain ill, and attain a rating of twenty-two hundred or higher. Raytheon will then spend level send level one hundred players on a epic quest to collect 60 small knickknacks from normal dungeon bosses. These are just Raytheon's small curio collection. You'll then be asked to go on a whirlwind tour of Azeroth and defeat every battle pet trainer we hope you've been practicing. Then you need to get 3000 Valor. Unfortunately Valor might not really be a thing anymore so he wishes you good luck with that. After that though it's a, just a short skip and a jump of beating every raid boss in the expansion 12 times under separate lockouts to prove your worth to where the ultimate prize a legendary t-shirt and the achievement I helped Raytheon and all I got was this lousy t uh, this lousy shirt ladies and gentlemen that was patch 6.0 I, I don't know about you but I am looking forward to this a buttload um well thank you for watching remember rate up subscribe and all that good stuff remember this thing hates me and um may the aspect of the dog always be with you. Goodbye. And enjoy the rest of whatever the hell it is your World of War crafting. Dog.